There are no barriers anymore, no roadblocks to your creativity because now you can take any starting image and use Nano Banana Pro with this secret prompt to create a plethora of multiple camera angles or storyboards from that image. Meaning, creating cinematic AI films has never been easier. In today's video, I will show you how you can use tools like Nano, Banana Pro, and Kling 2.6 to turn a single starting frame into an entire movie. The first step here is to have the original image from which you are going to create the entire storyboard and then the entire movie or video. The most important thing to look out for in your first image is that it shows the main character of your movie. The image should completely show the face of the main character and also the clothing that this character is going to be wearing throughout the movie. If you have an image where only part of the face of the main character is shown or only a little bit of her clothing is shown, then Nano Banana Pro won't be able to confidently understand what your character looks like and what the character is wearing. In the long run, that is going to cause you a lot of problems in terms of character consistency, which is not what we want when we are trying to create an AI movie. So just look out for the things that I mentioned about your first image, and then you are going to be good to go. Our next step here is to turn this single image into a storyboard or multiple different camera angles depending on what you want to do with it. To do that with Nano Banana Pro, we can choose multiple different platforms. Most people use the Google Gemini platform to do this. But the problem with this Google platform is that there is no way to control the aspect ratio of your image. Even for this image, I specifically asked for an aspect ratio of 16 to 9, but even then, the Nano Banana Pro model generated the image in the aspect ratio of a square, which is not at all what I wanted. So there is no way to control the aspect ratio of your images here, and the resolution is also quite low, only about 1K resolution, which is not that good for your storyboard images. The second platform you can use requires a Pro Google subscription. If you have the $20 Pro Google subscription like I have here, you can then go to Google Flow. In Google Flow, if you click on the New Project section, you will see a new interface with the Image button. Here in this Image button, you are going to be able to use Nano Banana Pro unlimitedly for zero credit. So you can generate unlimited Nano Banana Pro images here if you just have the $20 plan. After coming here, you can upload your reference image that you want to start with. Then you can just give the AI model a part of this customizable prompt that I have shown you. This prompt is pretty simple. Create a 3x3 three three grid of this image showing a storyboard. Then you are just going to write the story. And if you want even more detail, you are just going to write what you want to see for each image of the grid. You can go up to 9 images because this is a 3x3 three three grid. This is a pretty complex prompt that I have simplified for anyone to easily understand and use. If you don't want a storyboard and just want different camera angles of your product or your main character, then you are just going to copy the part of the prompt up to the showing section, paste it into Nano Banana Pro, and add the text different camera angles. Nano Banana Pro is going to generate a 3x3 grid like this showing our character from all the different camera angles that we want. It is also going to generate the image in a landscape aspect ratio, which is 16 to 9. This is exactly what we want for cinematic movies, cinematic angles, and storyboards. You can also generate in the aspect ratio of a TikTok video here, but I am just going to keep it at landscape for this tutorial. After you have generated your image grid, you can download it by upscaling it up to 2K. This is the upscaled image that we got. The camera angles here look really good and really cinematic. But before showing you how to turn these images into a really good video, let me quickly show you how well this storyboarding prompt works. I am just going to copy up to this part of our master prompt, paste it into Nano Banana, and again, add our main image. Then just ask the AI model, storyboard of this woman going into a store and buying a coffee and then coming back to the forest and drinking that coffee. Let's run the prompt and see what kind of image we get. As you can see, the image here has been generated and everything looks good. Let me just quickly full screen this image for you. All these images look really good. This image shows us a coherent story of the woman from the field going to buy the coffee, going to the store, purchasing the coffee, and then coming back to the field and drinking it. This was a really good image showing us a storyboard. Now let me show you how you can turn an image like this into a really good and coherent video. I will also show you how you can extend this storyboard to create a video of any length that you want by making the storyboard bigger and longer, giving you full control over character consistency. First, I am going to show you the simple way to turn an image into a video. To do that, we are just going to come to Higgsfield AI and select the video section. From here, we are going to select the Kling 01 video model to generate our video. I am going to give our image as the first frame and then give the AI model a prompt. Make a cinematic sequence based on the attached images, ultra-realistic and cinematic. 
Now, let's generate the video. The video that Kling generated here was not that good. As you can see, the grids always stay the same. I really don't know why there is this problem with this Kling 01 video model right now, because for all my previous generations, it was working fine. So I just changed the model to VO 3.1, and it generated a really good video like this of the woman going to the coffee shop, purchasing the coffee, and then sitting on the field and drinking it. But the problem here is that we don't have enough control over our video. If you want to have more control over your shots, like an actual director, then what you need to do is add your generated image to the prompt and ask the AI model, take the first image, make it bigger so it covers the full screen, and upscale it. Just click on Generate, and the AI model is going to generate an image like this, showing the first frame of our original image in full screen and in high quality. Now you can just recopy the prompt and change the image name from the first frame to the second image, and then the third, and the fourth, etc. In this way, you are going to generate all the images. After you have generated, upscaled, and created full screen versions of all the images from your original storyboard, you are going to download them and use any of the top video models to generate a video from that image. To animate this image, I am using the Minimax Haluo 2.3 AI video model. The good thing about doing this is that you get to prompt the AI model to have a lot more control over the motion of your videos. For this prompt, I am just going to ask the AI model, generate a low motion video of the woman going into the coffee shop. This is the video that Hailuo created from our image. As you can see, this video is quite realistic and very nice. This is actually the method that I use to create better videos and my storyboard in higher quality compared to using the shortcut method, which is fast, but gives us mediocre results. Now, let me show you how you can extend our storyboard to create videos of whatever length we want. To do that, you are just going to expand the last frame of your storyboard and add it to the prompt. Then copy our master prompt again and continue your story for the next storyboard. In this way, you can make the video as long as you want while keeping the character consistent. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.